when the astrologer entered the astrologer's house, Kuntavab Prati and Vanatha were indeed there. Kuntave's mind had lost its peace since he did not see the Queen of Elam at dawn. At the same time, Pungujali also went missing, adding to her confusion. She went to see Prime Minister Anuradhar. At that time there was news about Arul Mazai Kulan. She learned that he had to emerge due to a storm in Nagipatanam and that a large number of people had gathered and were bringing him to Tanjavur with shouts of victory. Kundave's hype has crossed the line. She thought that something bad was about to happen. She wanted Pani's wealth to meet her on the way and tell her everything that happened in Tanjore. If he wanted to enter the fort of Tanjore surrounded by a large crowd, the soldiers of the Ravager will try to stop him. Meanwhile, it was learned that Buddha Kesari had reached Kajumbalar along with the forces of the southern region. The two forces may collide near Tanjore. So the father's heart will be hurt for sure. So his life may be in danger. And who knows what the outcome will be. Due to the storm, the souls of the citizens are in turmoil. Something has to happen, a great internal rebellion may break out that will destroy the entire Chola nation. Then how to stop it? Rather than trying to stop after arriving, isn't it necessary to prevent in advance? Otherwise, all the efforts made all this time will be in vain? Therefore, we should meet Arul Mazai Chola on the way and stop for some time at Payare. A large harvester should also be brought from Kadampur. After informing him that Arul Mazai has no desire to rule the kingdom, he should be taken to Tanjore only after obtaining his consent. Thinking in this way and deciding within herself, she did not even tell her father, but only told her mother and Aniratha, and took Vanathi, who was not dear to her, and left. She wanted to see the baby astrologer one more time before going to Padayare. Isn't it human nature to look to astrology to know about the future when anxiety is high? As usual, Amon left the chariot near the temple and entered the astrologer's house. It wasn't long before she started communicating her concerns to the astrologer. By then, I heard some knocking on the door. Mainly, Palyavetare's arrogance made her romantic. A person who can make such grandiose boasting is a great philanderer. The astrologer was seen coming in after pushing away the astrologer's disciple who tried to stop him. How did he get here? Why is he coming? And at this time? Aha! Perhaps he is coming to ask astrology. If you listen to him talk to an astrologer, perhaps you will know what is going on in his mind. At a time when the kingdom and the royal clan are in great crisis, it would be so comforting to know the attitude of the great Pula Vetere. Now is an opportunity to find out. And why would he think that he and Vanati were there? He will think wrongly. No doubt. So it is better that he hides away from the eyes. Kundave informed the astrologer of her intention with a jar and took Vanatha by the hand and hurried into the next room. As soon as the door of the room they entered was slammed shut, Pulvatarayar entered. He stood up excitedly and stared at the bowed astrologer and looked around. His face showed signs of surprise and disappointment. It was only a moment. At once he managed and said, Astrologer. Who am I? It is Danatha Kari the Great Punisher. Why are you awake like this? Are you so changed? You have something important to do for me. You must do me a great favor. First bring me something to eat, I am very hungry. I will say what needs to be said while eating, he said. The astrologer stammered, Sir! What great favor could this poor fellow need? It was a privilege of my forefathers to come in search of this cottage. I am unable to give a feast befitting their status. Yet all that is in this cottage is theirs. Please sit down, are you standing? As soon as you see yourselves. I was startled. So I failed to welcome and treat them properly. Aha! In this poor man's hut there is not even a suitable seat for them to sit on. They should sit on that board, he said, pointing to the boards where Kunthi and Vanatha were sitting a while ago. Palyavetare looked at the boards and the flowers strewn near them and said, Astrologer. No, I have no time to sit. If you can give me something to eat, wrap it in a leaf and hand it to me. 
I must send a message urgently to Tanjore to my brother Kalan Takakandan. Will you give me a straw and a pen? Dot no. There is no time for writing. I give you my signet ring. Can you take it and go to Tanjavar at once? Or is your disciple standing at the door, who is a good fat man? Can you send him hastily? He asked. Whatever your command is, I will do it. I, my disciple, and two others will go if we wish. But, Commander-in-Chief, you must take heart and sit in this poor man's hut for a while, and drink the elixir this simple man offers. Astrologer. Why do you often call yourself poor and humble? I have heard that kings and queens often come to your house. I am the only one who does not come to ask you for astrology. I realize that it is wrong. Perhaps if I had asked you, such terrible accidents would not have happened. Sir. Their language worries me greatly. What accident has happened? I am right to be startled to see you in this sphere. Were you caught in a storm and a flood? I heard that the raid took place. Perhaps, therefore? Commander. Pavur Ila Iarani is fine, isn't she? Asked the astrologer, and the reaper laughed hoarsely. No, no. Nothing has happened to the princess of Palvur. She has not died in her palace. Until then she should be safe in the palace of Kadampur. But whether the sandali will be alive by this time tomorrow I cannot tell. Astrologer. Can you tell? You have the horoscopes of all the royal families. I have heard that there is. Is it true? Is there a horoscope for Nandini, the horoscope of Mahini Bay, whom I married at an old age? The astrologer became more alarmed and said, Danatapathy. What do you mean by this? Are you testing me? I don't have the horoscope of the younger queen. If you tell her the date and time of her birth, I can predict the horoscope. No, no, I will read Nandini's horoscope myself. I have decided to decide her life myself, by my own hand. If you know about other people's horoscopes, tell me. How is the Emperor's Ayurvedic sin? A.G.A. You shake your head. You will not say. You will think I am testing you. Dot or is all your astrological science just a lie, or what, who saw it? Astrologer. Let alone horoscope. Domakatu, which has been appearing in the sky for some time, fell from the sky to the earth this morning and disappeared. Do you know that? If so, can you tell me what it means? It does it indicate some great production? Does it indicate the impending calamity of the emperor and his people? If you refuse to tell even this, your astrology is a mere flip. Danathapati. Don't decide like that. It is the hereditary tradition of our profession that astrology should not be consulted in matters related to the kingdom. I did not see the fall of Domekatu this morning. I was surprised to see a bright light appear and I immediately got up and went outside. Rising and falling are said to indicate fortune to royalty. But that's not astrological. It's a common folk belief. I don't have much faith in it. Even this morning I know the emperor is lucky. That's our luck. Nothing should happen to the emperor tonight. If he stays idle till tomorrow then it's fine. Do you know anything about Pawnee's wealth? I have heard that the prince arrived at Tiravara late last night. Grandmaster. Ten thousand, lots of people are surrounding him. They are bringing him to Tanjore against his will. Aha. It would be so good if they could only take the prince to Tanjore. But can they? Can they hold back Yama even if surrounded by millions? Say, astrologer, say. Even if you do not astrolog, I say. A great continent awaits both the emperor and his sons today. Yamadhar man drew nearer to them. He is coming. He is hiding in the treasure dungeon of the emperor's Yaman Palyavar mansion. Aromazai's Yaman is hiding in the elephant's trunk. It is your responsibility to stop them both and save the emperor and Pawnee's riches. Take my signet ring and let your disciple go to Tanjore. You must go to Tiravara and warn the prince, will you? 
will you leave at once? The astrologer was stunned. A doubt arose in his mind that Palyavatare had lost his mind. But that's not to say for sure. All that is said is according to knowledge. He appears to be telling the truth, though he speaks with rage and excitement. Younger Brady is also listening to all this talk. Want to know her opinion. Somehow this old man should be sent away immediately. By the grace of Durga Parmswari I will carry out their orders to the best of my ability. When the astrologer said this, the sound of the foot symbol worn by women was heard from inside. A.G.A. Durga Parmswari blesses by sounding the Padasadagai. Now, I can return to Kadampur, here I am leaving. Commander. You say you are hungry? This simple man has made a potion at home. No, no. My hunger and thirst are all gone. I must fly to Kadapur too. There is a chariot standing near the temple. Whose is it, astrologer? I am going to take it. I will send it back when I reach Kalatakar. I will take only the Odom. Sir. That chariot, that chariot, don't take mercy on me. Astrologer. Do not worry in vain. I am going to take that chariot to save the life of the crown prince of the Chola country. Goddess Durga will give her consent. If the goddess blesses me by sounding the foot symbol again, I will know that consent has been obtained. While the great reaper was saying this, the younger Prati Kundave opened the door of the adjoining room and walked in softly sounding the symbols. The great reaper was not surprised to see her, not startled. Mother. I guessed right. I supposed you must be in the next room. I did not dare to speak to your face. That is why I spoke so loudly that it might fall into your ears, did you not hear all I said to the astrologer? Sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the mistake I made. I couldn't know for sure that it was you when they suddenly entered this house. So I had to eavesdrop on them. I'm sorry. Said Kundave. She made me a traitor, she made the royal traitor. She took the material from the Cholanadu treasure and gave it to the conspirators of Pandayanadu. The fire burning in my chest will not be quenched unless I kill that Badaganandini with my own hands before the end of this night. When Palyavatarayar was saying this, she did something unexpected. Suddenly she fell at his feet and worshipped him. When Palyavatarayar was stunned not knowing what to do, Ilya Aprati stood up and said, Sir. Give me a boon. She said. Princess, you seem to be testing me. Don't. I am well aware of how terrible my sinful deeds are. I am only thinking of how to atone for them. Before that, I must escape the three Chola clans from today's continent. May no harm come to your father and brothers today. Help me for that. Let one day pass today, and tomorrow I myself will come to you and ask, what is my punishment? What is the atonement? Said. Sir. I will not seek to punish or propitiate you. You are in the position of my master. Worthy of my father's praise. Verily, I ask of you a boon. Then listen at once, mother. Now is not the time for mere talk. Vow to give. Nothing I can give will make up for the betrayal I have done to you and your family. I will give you whatever you ask. Ask quickly. You must make the young Queen Nandini Devi vow that she will do nothing. That is the boon I seek. Mother. What game is this? Is this the time to play? It is true that I have lost my wits in my old age. Do you want to make me a complete madman for that? If I do not punish that conspirator properly, how can I punish the other conspirators? I will kill her with my own hands and I will show her that she cannot deceive the old man to the end, and I will cut her to death with my own sword. I will not do justice to anything less than that. After that, I will think of what is a just punishment for me. Go. Mother. Go. Your father and brother will come today. Make every effort to save it from the continent. I do, sir. But don't you also try to protect my sister? The younger Queen Nandini is my sister. Whatever harm you have done to her, 
it is a betrayal of the Chola clan. Palyavatarayar was overwhelmed with consternation. Am I still dreaming? He pursed his lips. No, no. You are not dreaming. What you are seeing and hearing is true. Think a little, think of old incidents. Do you remember when Amaterasi saved my brother Aralmas Hivarman from drowning in the Kaveri? She was the mother of Ilai Rani Nandini. On the day when they brought the younger Rani to the palace for marriage, do you remember when my father fainted? The emperor fainted at the sight of the younger queen's mother. He thought she was dead for a long time. So suddenly he lost his memory when he saw the younger queen. Palyavatarayar also remembered some other incidents. He then remembered the reasons Nandini had taught him when he brought Nandini to the front of Sundarashola Emperor in the middle of the night and when the emperor screamed at her. Mother! I realize that you are not talking about a game. The game of destiny is very strange. If Ila Iarani is your Tameka, she becomes the sister of Aditha Karikalan too. Only you know this relationship, who else knows who? Does the emperor know? Until two days ago, Chakraborty thought my great-grandmother was dead. The day before, when the old woman came in person, she threw away the lamp thinking it was a ghost, and only then did she believe. Didn't hear about that, mother. Does Carrie Kalin know the younger queen is his sister? He must have known by now. He had sent me a letter to one of the warriors of the Vinar clan. I told him. Aha! Vandaya the van will make Valaveria say. Yes, sir. I don't think he would have told Carrie Kalin. Even if he had, Carrie Kalin wouldn't have believed it. I didn't believe it myself. How could he believe it? The young queen couldn't have known the news, it was no use knowing it. The conspirators will see to their purpose in some other way. They will certainly try it tonight. Mother! The news you have given me! makes my responsibility even more terrible. I lie Rani Nandini, it is my duty to protect my brother from harm. I will go to Kadampur immediately. I will take the chariot you came in. It is your responsibility to protect the emperor and Pani's rich man from harm. Said. Sir. Don't you worry. I'm leaving for Tanjore. I'm going with a vehicle from old era. Don't worry about Pani's wealth. The day and time of his birth will protect him. She said. Woman. Don't trust astrology and be careless. Astrologers know the truth in their heart but won't say it openly. They will say something to tone the two things. After the thing has happened, didn't you say it before? They say. Even if you believe in astrology, don't believe in astrologers. In the process of saying that, Pulvatere are left with a word. A few seconds after he passed all Workadian entered. Yes, yes. I agree with what the officer said. Even if you believe in astrology, you should never trust astrologers. He said. 